जीरो फर्स्ट राइट दिस क्वेश्चन वी हैव टू फाइंड द रूट ऑफ दिस इक्वेशन एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस टू एक्स माइनस वन फोर्टी थ्री इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो फर्स्ट डिसाइड ए बी सी ओके फर्स्ट डिसाइड ए बी सी ए बी सी मीन्स कंपेयर द दिस क्वालिटी इक्वेशन विथ ए एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस बी एक्स प्लस सी इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो ए इक्वल टू वन एंड बी इक्वल टू टू यू विल गेट एंड सी इक्वल टू माइनस वन फोर्टी थ्री So now we will apply the quadratic formula. X is equal to this is not n. This is x. X is equal to minus b plus minus under root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. So x is equal to minus b. Minus b means minus 2 plus minus under root of b square b square means 2 square 2 square minus 4 ac okay so 4 what is a a is 1 what is c c is minus 143 divided by this whole term divided by 2a 2 what is a a is 1 now further we will simplify it x is equal to this is minus 2 plus minus 2 to the 4 minus it will become 143 into 4 it will become 143 into 4 4 3 12 1 4 4 16 okay it will become 572 so 4 minus and minus 5 72 divided by 2 into 1 is 2 x is equal to minus 2 plus minus under root of this is 4 minus minus plus minus minus plus and 572 divided by 2 and 572 plus 4 576 so root of 576 is 24 So we can write it as x is equal to minus two plus minus under root of five seventy six divided by two. Okay, so five root of five seventy six is uh, we can write it as twenty four. now here is plus and minus so first we will take plus or either you can take minus also so we will write it as like this x is equal to minus 2 plus 24 divided by 2 minus 2 plus 24 divided by 2 and here we will write x is equal to minus 2 then we will take minus minus 24 divided by 2 So what it will become? This will become x is equal to 24 minus 2, 22, 22 divided by 2, 11. So one value of x will be 11. Here is minus 24 minus 2 minus 26 minus 26 by 2 minus 13. So two roots of the equation we will get 11 and minus 13. 11 and minus 13. so in this way we will apply the quadratic formula to solve the question so the questions we will solve first question i will solve 
second question you will solve or either i will solve third question uh, means this question or uh, this question you should solve okay so third i am solving this is the third question 2x square minus 2 under root x plus 1 so a here 2 okay b here minus 2 under root 2 what is c c is equal to 1 so we will apply the quadratic formula x is equal to minus b plus minus under root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a okay so minus b minus b okay so we will write it as minus minus and b value of b value of b is minus 2 root 2 plus minus root of b square square of this okay b square means minus 2 root 2 square minus 4 ac minus 4 a is 2 and c is 1 divided by 2 a 2 into 2 so it will become minus minus plus 2 under root 2 plus minus now square of this so it will become um, 8 okay a square of 2 under root 2 means 2 square is 4 and root 2 square is 2 so it will become 8 so plus minus you can write here 8 and here also it will be 8 4 to the 8 divided by 4 and here is x so you can write x is equal to 2 root 2 by 4 okay and here plus minus 8 minus 8 0 you will get 0 then what you will do you will write it as x is equal to 2 root 2 by 4 plus 0 x is equal to 2 root 2 by 4 minus 0 so here you will get x is equal to 2 can be written as root 2 multiplied by root 2 so 1 root 2 is cancel out so x is equal to 1 by root 2 x is equal to 1 by root 2 here also same condition this will be cancel out and here also you will get 1 by root 2 so here we are getting two equal roots here we are getting two equal roots so in this way you will apply the quadratic formula and first note down uh, this and after that uh, try to solve uh, the question I will give you
Let's go down here. Let's scroll down this.
after completing this question so uh, just try to solve this question okay first complete this and tell me then no sir one minute so you have to remember the quality formula okay and uh, on, only you have to put the values and the solve that okay so you have to solve now try to solve the question number second this question try very easy take your time properly okay solve question properly okay sir hmm. first write what is a what is b what is c and after that write the quadratic formula okay. x is equal to minus b plus minus under root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a and then put the values and accordingly you will get two roots Are you getting negative root? Yes, sir. Uh, this uh, this value, na? V square minus four AC. So when you will calculate, you will get four square minus four into one into five. It will. It is sixteen minus twenty. So, what you are getting? You are getting this. Can you find the root of this? No. 
<coughs> when we write any value uh, inside the root that must be positive negative root is not possible you will get some imaginary value and imaginary numbers you will study in your 11th class if you will have math there yeah. so you can simply write if the should i solve now yes sir no okay uh, are you getting the answer of this yes sir what minus 4 sir minus 4 only one root this is a quadratic equation it must have two roots at least yes sir yes minus 4 minus 4 eh okay. yes sir so uh, see this question this so a is equal to 1 b is equal to 4 and what is c c is equal to 5 so we will apply the quadratic formula minus b plus minus under root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a now x is equal to minus 4 plus minus under root of b square means 4 square Minus four into one into five divided by two into one. So here you are getting minus four plus minus under root of this value is sixteen and this value is twenty. Sixteen minus twenty divided by two. So this is minus four plus minus root of minus four divided by two. one remember one thing uh, here you will write root of minus 4 is not possible not give real numbers i know what is root of minus 4 basically basically it will be 4 of iota that but that is not in your syllabus so we will write root of minus 4 is uh, will not give real number okay so you will write root of minus 4 will not give a real number always remember inside the root the value always uh, should be positive like we find root of 24 5 if i am saying root of minus 24 so this value is not a not a real number not a real number so remember this point you will not get a real number and we are finding the roots roots means we are finding the real roots okay real number do you know real number 1 2 3 4 any number is a real number yes. na yes but sir. there are but in higher classes when you will go there are one other set of numbers that is that are complex number that set is bigger than the real numbers also so i am not going in this basically you can write this minus 4 will not give the real number so if you will just write here minus 4 and this is not a real number so you can write uh, means finally uh, you will get uh, this value and when you will add minus 4 plus minus of minus uh, root 4 what you what you will get you will get this na x is equal to Minus four plus first you will write plus na plus of minus four divided by two and one more value of x you will get x is equal to minus four minus of root minus four divided by two so now you can say minus four will not give the real number so this equation does not have real root. okay so the given quadratic equation the given quadratic equation do not have real roots real roots after this one 
question we will solve and that question is not very tough you can say that question is basically uh, language based question statement based question already we have solved these kinds of question but here few things you have to identify means they are saying find two consecutive odd positive integer Co consecutive odd positive integer odd positive integer can you tell me some of the odd positive integer yes sir can you tell me what are some of the odd positive integers so like 1 3 5 7 9 very good very good very good sir. okay we are starting from 1 we can start from the minus 1 or minus 3 and any minus we can start but i am starting from 1 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay now odd positive integer this is odd positive integer this is odd positive integer this is odd odd, odd, odd positive integer so this is 1 and after that you are getting 3 and after that you are getting 5 if you will further increase it you will write here 7 you will write here 8 you will write here right here sir i already got the answer hmm i like the question answer i already got You you have already solved this question. No sir, like I just uh, did in my mind. I already got both the integer. Ha! Huh, that is we can do in our in our mind also. But actually, na here this question is a subjective question. So yes. we have to solve there, na. That is you can you can tell me also because if you are able to do that, that good. But here, na, we have to solve that. Okay. So yes sir. there there can be two positive uh, two consecutive positive integer and if you will do the sum of the squares okay then you will get the numbers okay yes sir okay uh 1 3 and 7 and 9 uh so now see here there is a increase of 2 from here to here there is a increase of 2 from here to here there is a increase of 2 By the way, what are the numbers you have got? Sir, eleven and thirteen. Hmm. When you will do the square of eleven, it will be one one one. When you will do the square of thirteen, it will be one six nine. When you will add, you will get two ninety. By the way, <clears throat> so uh, here now, what we will do? We will suppose let x be the okay. We will suppose let x be the x v the first odd positive integer if x is the first positive integer can you tell me what will be the second consecutive positive integer x plus one no no that is why i have written the x plus two when you will add, yes, when you yes. are adding in that x two then you are getting another consecutive another means next uh, yes. positive integer okay so yes. another will be another will be x plus two okay. so you can see here na one after uh, c This is the odd positive integer. This is odd positive. This is odd positive. Okay, I am removing this two, moving this four, moving this six. Now we have odd positive integer one five seven nine. So when you will increase two, or when you will add two in one, then you will get next positive integer. When you will get, when you will uh, add two in this three, then you will get another 
ne means next positive integer so basically if you are assuming that uh, first positive integer is x then for the next positive integer you have to add in that positive integer 2 so that is why another positive integer we have taken x plus 2 and after that they are saying sum of whose squares is 290 sum of whose square means square of this and the square of this and sum and you will get 90 means they are saying x square plus x plus 2 square is equal to 290 you can write here uh, one line also according to the question okay in, in in exam you can add one line otherwise if you will write this also then it's okay now we will solve it x square plus now can you open this square okay x plus 2 is square very easy a plus b is square yeah, x square plus 2 uh, x two square plus, plus uh, x square plus 2 square plus uh, 2 into x plus and 2 uh, this is x square means a square Th this is the formula a plus b square so it is first a square plus b square plus 2ab so here also if you will compare this with this x plus 2 you have x square then after that square first you will do square of this then square of this that is okay. square of this is 4 plus 2ab 2a you can take x and b you can take 2 so it is 2 and this is equal to 290 so we have here uh, x square and x square it will become 2x square this is not n okay this is x and here we have 4 and uh, here we and here we have 4x 2 into 2 into x plus 4x we can write and here is plus 4 minus 290 that is equal to 0 so this is 2x square plus 4x it will become minus 2 86 is equal to 0. Now, can we take 2 common? So, take 2 common. So, when you will take 2 common, it will become x square plus 2x minus it will become 1, 4, 3 is equal to 0. And this 2 is gone when you will multiply or when you will divide both sides by 2, then it will you will get x square plus 2x minus. 143 is equal to 0. Now, this is, this is a final quality equation we got. Now, uh, we will apply the quadratic formula here. Very easy now. What is A? What is B? What is C? A is equal to 1 here. B is equal to 2 here. C is equal to minus 143. So we will apply the quadratic formula x is equal to minus b plus minus under root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. So x is equal to minus b is minus 2 plus minus under root of b square means 2 square, 2 square minus 4ac, 4, what is a? a is 1, c is minus 1, 4, 3 divided by 2a divided by 2 into 1 2a x is equal to minus 2 plus minus here you will have 4 and 143 multiplied by 4 and minus minus plus you will get 572 i think divided by 2 Again, you can write x is equal to minus 2 plus minus under root of 576 divided by 2 and root of 576 is equal to 24. So, here you can write x is equal to minus 2 plus minus 24 divided by 2. Now, what we do? x is equal to minus 2. First, we will take plus 24 
plus 24 divided by 2 here we can write x is equal to minus 2 minus 24 divided by 2 so here uh, you can find the answer this is 24 minus 2 22 divided by 2 11 okay 11 and here you will get x is equal to minus 13 so we are getting two values of x we are getting two values of x so both are the integers but we are rejecting this value because we want positive integer because we want positive integer so first integer first positive integer we will have 11 another we will have 11 plus 2 that is x plus 2 means x is 11 plus 2 13 your answer was was right okay so write down the method na that uh, solving in the mind and uh, will be very very useful when you are giving some competitive exam without solving you can get the answer because uh, there will be four options given to you in some of the competitive exam so there no one will ask you how to solve